Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Normally I do the Walking Dead videos and this one is related because it's related to Fear the Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 11. In that episode, they were using walkers in like a composting method, grinding them up into soil, into the soil, mixing it with soil, and then using that soil to grow their food and stuff. And of course, that's not really feasible, I don't think, with dead flesh. Maybe it is. I don't know. But uh, that got some people talking in the comments. And one commenter, Jamie Wallen, um, we were talking about humans as compost and a way of burial and stuff like that and what to use it for. So I looked up a company called Recompose. Maybe they pronounce it Recompose. But uh, it opens for business in 2021. It's the first business of its kind. And I'm going to tell you about it in this video. And we'll talk about it just a little bit. I'll be reading some from an article from sciencealert.com, and it was back in December 2019 when this was put up. The title is, The World's First Human Composting Facility Will Open in 2021, and it reads, When a human being's time is up in Western countries, we generally have two main options for our mortal remains, burial or cremation. Now a world-first facility has been set up to offer a unique alternative ritual to traditional choices. And that's compost. Recompose, recompose, which is scheduled to begin operations in Seattle, Washington in 2021, builds itself as the world's first human composting facility, offering to gently convert human remains into soil in a process it calls recomposition or natural organic reduction. The company has been in work for years. It's become a legally viable service this year when Washington passed a historic bill to become the first U.S. state to allow human composting. And the law went into effect in May 2020, so the bodies of the deceased will be able to transform into soil in the company's reusable hexagonal recomposition vessels. The process draws upon the traditional principles of natural or green burials, and that um, there's a few in different states, from California to Tennessee to Texas. There's a several different states that there's a certain allotted piece of land that you could get buried on that you don't have to get buried in a say a casket even you could be a shroud or um, you know you don't have to be put into a vault casket and then into a concrete vault underground or above ground any you know you you're put back into the soil you're buried but you're buried shallow a little more shallow so the microbial and bacterial stuff can work better a more natural type process so there's a lot of places, burials, natural or green as they're called, around. But at this recomposed place, all of this happens inside reusable vessels rather than being permanently interred at the same time. Bodies are covered with wood chips and aerated, uh, providing the perfect environment for naturally occurring microbes and beneficial bacteria. Over the span of about 30 days, the body is fully transformed, creating soil which then can be used to grow new life. Once the composting process is complete, it um, amounts to a cubic yard of soil generated per person. You can use it however you want to. But part of the soil will be used for conservation purposes, and that's the linchpin of the company's overall purpose and the law that will let companies like Recompose operate. And that's a little bit how the natural and green burials work as well. Usually it's a natural reserve type piece of land. They're trying to preserve a flower or a tree or animal or something like that, and they allow natural burial on that land. And Recompose estimates that each person who chooses their organic reduction process, it will cost them around $5,500 total. They'll save a metric ton of CO2, which occurs in the other processes. And you'll create some usable soil. You can grow something, a tree, flowers, put in a garden, whatever you may want to do with that soil. Just like you would spread ashes, you have soil to spread. So what are you guys thinking? What's your take on it? Um, is it cool? Is it not cool? Some people have different beliefs and worldviews on things and stuff like that. As far as saving in the processes, the high temperature it takes to cremate a person, um, embalming fluid and things like that that you're putting into the earth in the other methods and along with the non-biodegradable items uh, most of the caskets sold in america i think is non-biodegradable which is exact opposite i think in like australia so some countries are doing real well with it and different things different things are happening around the world and different burials different belief systems but 
you know, this mainly stems at looking at America, the U.S. But since they've been grinding up walkers on Fear the Walking Dead, using them to grow some plants, I thought it was interesting to talk about to see what you guys thought about it as well. What do you think? Cool? Not cool? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will join you there. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.